Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing wonderfully well. Today is going to be a really exciting fast paced battle. You guys have asked what would an Iranian surprise fast missile and gunboat swarm attack on a US carrier group traversing the Strait of Hormuz look like? So we're going to go and try it. First off to say we've already done this before. About a year ago we did a very similar thing but we didn't have the technology at the time to really run it properly. For the Iranian gunboats all we had is these kind of funny old boats with a dushka on the back. Not very effective. And for the carrier group all we had is a 1990s carrier group without modern anti-swarm technology. So we're running it again with fully 2020s updated technology. Here is the role play. Here is a US carrier group. They are traversing the Strait of Hormuz and out of nowhere comes a swarm of 150 Iranian gun and missile boats. They've chosen the narrowest point when a carrier group is running through the track of Hormuz here and the gunboats appear between Larak and Keshem where they've been hidden cunningly. At this point they are 16 nautical miles, 17 nautical miles off track, about 20 statute miles away from the carrier group. And this is a real danger, possibly the worst danger that Iran have at the moment. They have nearly 3,000 small boats, gunboats, missile boats and suicide boats that can be packed with explosives. Along with their drones, Iran's biggest threat at the moment is swarm tactics. So today we've got 150 Swedish built bog hammers along with one camera boat. First, why are they in this weird lattice formation? Surely they wouldn't do it like that. No, obviously they wouldn't. In reality, they would all set off from the coast roughly the same time and they would just be in a massive random formation. However, you can't really do that in this sim. The problem is all of the boats in the sim have a kind of anti-evasion function so they don't kind of run into each other. So you have to keep them perfectly spaced at all points. Otherwise, they'll just end up spinning around in circles. So today, they're going to be in this lattice. Is it going to make any difference tactically? Not really they're spaced out enough that no splash damage will affect more than one boat this is a bog hammer they're really fast boats incredibly powerful with just four or five man crew max speed on calm waters 93 knots that's 100 miles per hour they can either be equipped with three high caliber machine guns i think they're dushkas but correct me if i'm wrong or they can be in an anti-ship variant which have missiles as well as the three machine guns the missiles are guided and they are C-701 anti-ship missiles. As well as that, these boats can be packed with explosives and therefore can be suicide boats, either drone or human driven. There are 20 anti-ship, 130 machine guns. Also, there's a camera boat back here. He is invisible and invincible and will not fire. He's purely here to give me a stable platform and will not take any part in it otherwise. They have one purpose, which is to charge at their maximum speed towards the carrier group. It takes them about 11 minutes to get on the track of the carrier group. They will shoot anything they see with their missiles, with their guns. And if they get in contact with the carrier, we're going to assume that was a boat that is a suicide boat and will deliver half a ton of explosives as well. Next, on to the US carrier group. Now, we're going to have this in several different formats today, but let's just go over the 2020s format. We've got a super carrier here. On board the supercarrier are her aircraft. They are equipped and ready to scramble because let's say they've been tipped off that there's some bad guys coming. There are 40 FA-18Cs. I couldn't be bothered to set Super Hornets up. And to be honest, for what we're doing here, they're going to make pretty much no difference. I had the option of having guided or unguided weapons. I've tried Mavericks. I've tried GBU uh, guided bombs. I've even tried cluster bombs. I can't do cluster bombs because it kills the server. So they're out. Guided weapons work fine, but I've actually found for the amount of seconds or minutes we have here, unguided weapons actually do the most damage to the boats. It means some Hornets will get shot down, but bearing in mind we're trying to stop bog hammers getting through, unguided rockets actually do the most damage. So I've put the absolute best loadout that we found of eight pods of high caliber Zuni rockets, and each of those rockets will kill a bog hammer. 40 of those, they will scramble and defend the carrier to the death. Also, a huge complement of destroyers, six destroyers. The actual type of destroyer we'll talk about in a minute because they're going to be varying. But defense is going to be thus. There are going to be two destroyers which are going to stay and protect the carrier. The other four, once they realize that action's happening, are going to depart and try and cut off the swarm, get ahead of the swarm 
and attack the swarms. And that's what's going to happen. At this point, you're going to say, well, shouldn't a carrier just turn around and run away? Uh, well, I've actually talked to someone who's sailed through here, and they say that there's a thin track around the Strait of Hormuz, and there's not actually enough room for a carrier to turn around in, in the track of the depth. Now, I don't know how true that is, but that's what I'm going with anyway. To be honest, even if she did turn around, she's going to get hounded down anyway, because those fog hammers are going to go three times her speed. There is also an AWACS, the eye in the sky. There are four tests I want to run today. Test one, we're going to have the bog hammer fleet, but just the machine gun variants. I want to take out the anti-ship variants. And I'm going to put a aircraft carrier just a mile ahead of them. It's not a tactical example, but I just want to show you how the damage system works at the moment. Then we'll run it again, but with the anti-ship missile bog hammers in place. Again, just to show you how the damage system works. Next, we'll run our first tactical battle. It will be this battle you see here, but the carrier group will be a 1990s spec only. So we'll have Arleigh Burks, but they'll have 1990s SM2 technology, which means that they will not have any guided weaponry for taking out these boats. They'll have their 5-inch gun, they'll have their 30 mil Bushmasters, they'll have their Seawears, but no guided missiles. Then, finally, we'll run the big one, the 2020s carrier group. They will have VLS-launched SM2 MRs, which can attack surface vessels, and we'll have a warhead that will take a bog hammer out, and SM6. First, let's start with some fun damage testing. Guys, I don't know why, but I'm going to ask you for your, for your predictions of what's going to happen. Uh, these are 150 machine gun only uh, bog hammers. They shouldn't really do critical damage to the carrier. I would agree. Anyone else? Carrier's going to need more paint. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right. Okay. I don't know if the carrier itself has the ammunition to repel a fleet like that, how it's going to rely on its aircraft. Right. Yeah, exactly. So you're saying it's defenseless pretty much at this range. Yep, absolutely. Right, guys, I'm going to play it through. Uh, get ready for silliness. Alrighty then. Sea Whiz firing. First Dishkas are firing. Impacts on the carrier. Planes are taxing to scramble. Sea Wiz is not accurate enough to kill the boats at this range. It will get more accurate as it gets closer. First bog hammer down. Second bog hammer down. Changing view. Get some, baby. Shoot that carrier. Oh, is it Seawiz still going? Yes, Seawiz is still going. Six bog hammers down. Seven bog hammers down. Eight bog hammers down. And one Hornet down. <laughs> Carrier is somewhat overrun. Twelve bog hammers down. Three Hornets. Four Hornets down. That's funny. Zoom in. Wow, look at all the chaos. Oh, look at that guy, pol politely waiting. Probably polite with the tracer. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pause it there, guys. As you can see, it's done a tiny one pixel of damage to the, to the carrier. I've calculated, if my maths is right, it takes 500,000 of those bullets or shells to kill the carrier. It's a basic hit point system, is, is what I'm showing you here. But it does damage the planes on here. As you can see, a whole bunch of the planes have started, seven of them have been destroyed. As you can see, SeaWiz does take the boats down as well. They have to get a little bit close to be accurate enough for the bullets to actually hit, or the shells to hit. All right, welcome into next one. This time, uh, 20 of the boats have got these Sea. Uh, 701 missiles they're a bit like Mavericks slightly smaller anti-ship missiles guided range of just over 10 nautical miles I think predictions humanoids that carrier is going to get smashed Oof. yes yeah, it's going to be a lot explosions. Closer. okay again I'm aware of how stupid this is but just testing damage models and stuff and just to show you that all this hard work does actually pay off right Zebra's out right are they going to fire are they going to fire yes they've turned they friggin turned <laughs> Switching to carrier. Oh! Gonna shoot at the missiles. Oh! BRB! Oh, 
Uh, sorry about that viewers, you're gonna get a lot of crashes today unfortunately. Uh, this is not recommended for you to try at home by the way. I've had to smash my game up and uh, uh, it's good fun, it's good fun to watch. I wouldn't put it in a mission though. Missile's out, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. And in they come. Sea Wizards trying to shoot them down. Oh! Sea Wizards trying to shoot them down. I don't dare move the camera in case I crash it. Look at the explosions, guys. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. 40. 40 missiles hit it. Is it realistic that it would, like, completely blow the carrier up? Maybe. I don't know. With 40 warheads. Oh, I'm going to pause it there before... We create a black hole. 40 warheads have smacked it. 11 hornets are dead. And the CV's dead. Um, even if the carrier wasn't completely blown up, you know what? It wouldn't be going anywhere. It would be full of holes. The deck would be smashed. It would be on fire. Now, we're going to start the tactical tests. So, we've got the 130 machine gunners, 20 anti-ship bog hammers against a 1990s carrier group. The six destroyers are going to have SM2 missiles, which cannot track ground targets. So they're going to be using their non-guided weapons. We've also added some airborne aircraft. Sock said that there would be cover up in the air. So we've added a couple of Hornets up in the air with air-to-air -air weapons. But they can still use their gun against the ships. Okay, guys, we've absolutely not tried this. We've checked that the weapons can work and damage models work. But we have no idea what's going to happen. Can we have some sort of prediction, please? Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any aircraft that are, that are able to take off from the deck. Huh. Uh, the only form of reinforcement that could possibly come in is the two aircraft that are up above. I think the escorting vessel will good, do a good job of screaming, uh, screaming, screening the carrier. Let's hope so, otherwise I think we're going to have a dead carrier. Watch out. All right, I'm pausing. 1990s carrier group, valid viewers. Uh, note, you can see them. Are they in real life? They would be over the horizon, and horizon is modelled in terms of sensors, radar, and whatnot. It's going to be a while, I guess, before anything happens we're well out of range of these uh c701 missiles have a range of about 12 miles right so first the guys that have been airborne have been told by AWACS that a swarm is coming and theoretically theoretically they should go anti-ship now and straight from how well that's going to work i don't know because it is actually untested we just added at the last minute let's have a look at the carrier he is now scrambling it just so happens to have 40 hornets all armed up with the most effective anti-swarm weapon uh, apart from cluster bombs which is pretty unrealistic, but we're going to go for it anyway, given the best chance they can. Cluster bombs would be really effective. Uh, however, we literally, it will crash the server. Um, I've tried them, it's just not possible. So, the best, apart from cluster bombs, is going to be these high caliber Zuni rockets. I'd assume when they are um, traversing the straits, they would equip some aircraft with this kind of weapon, just in case. Right. Why not? Because they have no idea. You can't even spot these things on satellite, because they'll just be under covers all around the coast here so they've got to almost assume it's going to happen right what will they fire at which ship no idea completely untested there's a missile there's a missile right i'm not going to watch it because last time it crashed when i was watching it so i'm just gonna be patient oh i can't resist it i have to watch it oh mr sm2s are out okay sm2s can defend against the missiles huh I should. Okay. Didn't realize that would happen. Also, um. Hornets are up. Oof. Things are happening. Oh, look at that. Okay. I hadn't count. I hadn't thought about that, guys. They're pretty small. They're. Oh, bollocks! Right, it's when I click on the missile. That's the problem. Sorry. Okay, we're back in now. The main danger from these bog hammers really is their speed. They've got so little time to, to take care of them. Before they close the distance right there should be starting to fire soon please don't crash please don't crash please don't crash so the top of that carrier would just be coming over the horizon in real life now at about 12 miles okay missiles out sorry about the sky so bright valley viewers i can't work out to get the sky darker we'll just have to suck it up okay all is going up sm2's up watch the fireworks i guess Uh, we don't have a missile counter on, we don't have a money counter on, it's too, it's asking the uh, too much for the machine to do all that. So we'll just have basic losses today. Otherwise we're going to tempt our fate even more. I've not seen anything hit the ships guys, I'm trying to go for an outside view here, I've not seen anything hit any ships. Oh, our guys just fired. Seawiz out! Oh my goodness, Seawiz is out! Oh, oh, things and stuff and things! Oh my god, the frame rate! 
They're getting through. Don't touch anything, Cap. I didn't see any ships get hit. That one Ollie ship Bergs hit. Are not getting hit? Yes, they are. Two Yardy Bergs hit. Again. Again. They're getting smashed. It's swarm. It was the swarm. Hit again. I've taken half a dozen warheads. They're on fire. Oh, we've got his own end. Sim 2 hit it. Hit again. Hit again. Look at that, viewers. That's something you don't see very often. You see the angle they're coming at. How many frigging missiles have they got? Carrier doesn't seem to have been affected much. Right. Why don't we pause? Stop. I think I can pause safely. Let's try and work out what happened. Okay, there's no more missiles in the air. One Arleigh Burke is destroyed. One Arleigh Burke is mm, probably not operational. That was not bad for a, for a strike, for a first storm strike. It was all about the amount of missiles they were firing and the height they went at. 40 missiles were just too hard to intercept. 40 vampires moving supersonic. But you're right, the carrier, it has actually gone defensive on its own. Look at that. That wasn't my orders. Now what's happening is the Hornets are responding. Let's go and try and find out what's happening. Whoops. What an interesting simulation, guys. And that's all of the missiles got. And they've got, two, they've got 40 missiles in the group. Ball coming down. And a miss. Right, so it's all about now the Hornets. And they really are scrambling. So they did get airborne socked. There's already five or six, you can see. And see. One Arleigh Burke sinking. Okay, here come more Hornets. They can operate not completely protected because they have to get it within gun range to fire. But the chance of one of those shells hitting the plane is actually very low. I doubt many Hornets will get shot down. Missiles out. Only two bulk cabins down so far. That's not good enough, sir. Yeah, I think the thing that's going to take out the bulk cameras is the four and a half inch guns on the uh, destroyers and cruisers. Roger. I did try Mavericks, the GBUs, by the way, valued viewers, but they had a real hard time tracking something moving at 100 miles an hour, and, and most of them actually missed. Uh, the best results I had is with unguided rockets. Something's happening there. There are not enough dying. Four ball comers down. Looks like he didn't pay attention in Monday's training session. Right. Come and destroy his. I want to see destroyers hitting stuff. Okay, six down. Turn there, Hornet. That's very prevalent. 300 knots. Why is he going 300 watts? What knots? What an idiot. Come on, Arleigh Berg. Why are you not firing? It's a fork. Yes! Five inch just turned his turret. Yeah, you're right, Matrix. He needed to be over the horizon. They're very low. Very low silhouette. Here we go, viewers. Things are about to get jazzy. Only seven down. The bogs are doing terribly. Here we go. That's what that's designed for, guys. Now, is it going to be accurate enough? Come on, shoot, hit! Direct hit. Bushmaster firing. Seaways firing. All right. Oh, this is... Bushmaster kill. Seaways going again. Yeah, I know they don't look... They don't look too far away, but they're still over about two miles, so... Why the guns aren't that effective yet. Ten down. Ooh. Ooh. Smack. The other thing I do here is flank speed and run them down. Oh, they're getting by. Here's the problem. 100 miles an hour. They're just so fast. There's not enough killing. There's no anti-swarm. This is what today's all about. 1990s carriers didn't really have anti-swarm. 2020 carriers, not so much. They are taking a nice toll of the uh, bog hammers, though. 
Yeah. 22. 24. 25. 27. Five inches going again. Jeez, look at that. Ali Burger smashed. Look at it. Those things aren't even armored. They're aluminium superstructures, I think. Like, even Dushka rounds will probably penetrate and just kill everyone on board. Wow. Seawiz isn't ac just isn't accurate enough over a mile. Yeah, they're up to 41 bog hounds now, so they're doing a good job. Roger. 41. He's killed 41 ships, guys. Let's have a look at what a progress. Uh-oh! Carrier in trouble! Carrier's firing. The ships that went out are turning around. They're coming back, but, but they're not coming back fast enough. That one's seriously damaged as well. Uh oh. Get an overview. Oh dearie me. 54 bog hammers down. Man, I love abusing this sim. 50, 58 bog hammers down. All Bushmasters going. Five inch are going. Seawards going. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. It's not enough. And they've got to their they've got to their waypoint. I'm gonna pause the simulation now, guys. They've done it. They lost 70 out of 150. That's as far as they'll go. Their, their anti-evasion kicks in at this point and they say, oh, there's a carrier. I'm not going to go any further. But at this point, they would swarm that carrier and that carrier's dead. It will either be peppered to death or it will have guys run in and detonate bombs on the side of it. Nothing it can do against... Uh, what, how many are alive? 80? 80 of them are alive, aren't they? So, as we said, 19... And they still look... They're still... The box... The... Um, Hornets are still fighting as best they can. There's only so much they can do. 1990s US carrier group, no anti-swarm, and it really shows here. Any post comments, guys, before we move on to a 2020s group? I was surprised how many uh, bogs could get up. Half the friggin' air wing got up, but again, they just weren't effective enough. So the only thing we've changed now is we've got rid of the uh, airborne guys because they weren't doing anything apart from sucking up CPU processing time, and we've changed the old destroyers for modern flight 3 rd burke which now have sm2 mr and sm6 which can track against a surface target hit me with some predictions how is 2020s group gonna fare there should be a lot less bog hammers get anywhere close i think the end result's gonna be the same though huh right watch this guys please work please work i'll give you gold if you work oh here we go here we go here we go oh stop i just want to see what's come out because before we get a game crash. Okay, okay. They've responded with a maximum threat level. They've decided, fire everything I can fire. So it's fired SM2s, it's fired SM6. Sorry about the ER, we will get rid of that text. I'm aware that's not the correct syntax. And it's gonna fire absolutely everything, guys. Let's watch on here a bit, see what happens. I'm ever so worried about it crashing. That everything, everything is going out. Now, how well is the target deconfliction gonna work? Absolutely no idea. And how well would it work in real life? I don't suppose anyone's ever going to be able to test it, unless a real attack happens, which I hope it doesn't, but... But that there is what the Iranians see. Ooh. Ooh, guys. Right? Look at friggin' that! Looks like a good spread. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you a 2020s US power. Yeah, they're killing, they're killing. Six down. Oh my goodness. Ten down. Look at that! They're bending round! It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen! They're trying to shoot the SM2s down! <laughs> 18 down, 19 down. Let's go for a, a far out shot. Wowee! Well, I haven't run it this far, so I didn't get to see what this looked like. I think some are missing. No, oh, maybe not. Well done, little AMD as well. 25 down. Sock, they're not getting through. They're not getting through. 
Look at it. And look at that. That's beautiful. Right? I've never seen this before. I've never seen really anything like this before. Kudos to the game engine. The engineers working hard on it to make it cope with stuff like this. It's pretty rugged at the moment and we're abusing it a lot. Right, Neon 40 bogs down already. Now here's the thing. There are a very finite amount of missiles. Oh, oh no, I think they're out of missiles. There are a very finite amount of missiles each thing has. Um, oh, I can't remember. In fact, I'm going to go and pause it and have a look quick. 32 SM2s and 24 SM6s. It's 56 each. 56 times 6 is about 300. They've got about 300. They should have plenty, guys. They only get 150 targets. Well, have 150 fired? Oh, I don't know. Let's go and have a look at their VLS suite. They're not firing anymore, guys. Yes, they're firing! Yeah, baby! They may be, they may be holding fire to uh, protect the models. The very mole, yeah. The system that works in the background here is always assessing what's the threat, what's the threat, what should I use for here, what should I use for there. And it's made the decision it doesn't want to fire any more off yet. Is that a good decision? Oh, here come, yep. Oh, ESMs, ESSMs are going out. They must have used one of the missiles. ESSMs are now defending the, uh, the things. More ESSMs out, you can tell because they thrust vector, so they move a bit different. Oh no, here goes the ugly bit again. Try and get a view of everything. Ship it. They're shooting down the 701s, is what's happening here. One early bug down. Ah, oh, nam it. I'm pretty sure the answer is they just did not fire their missiles efficiently enough. Too many misses, too many missiles on the same target. Ooh, Hornet went down. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it got hit by an ESSM. Yeah, it did look, I told you, hit by an ESSM. Well. I'm just going to pause it and reassess. Wow, I did not expect that, guys. Okay, so they fired their, their missiles off to begin with, but just not enough and not efficiently enough. Look, they've just wiped out that quarter, that chunk. Then they used their ASSMs for defense, but again, they just couldn't destroy the swarm of 40 missiles at sea level. Mark 1, and they've lost a the destroyer. Wowee. Right, I don't want to be a harbinger of doom, but I don't see this going much better than the previous time. And I was really not expecting that. 240 knots. That horn was only doing 240 knots. I don't know why they're flying like idiots, but I can't control them. Once they've seen a bad guy, they do what they want. So you've still got five Arleigh Burks. That's yeah. quite a lot of uh, five inch or four and a half inch to go it's out. Only, it's only 40 down though. So 300 missiles fired, only 40 targets destroyed. Right, it's pretty terrible. Oh, we can go and have a look and attack you afterwards to double check how many missiles are fired, but... There's no reason for them not to have fired all their missiles. I didn't see why they wouldn't have fired all the missiles. Again, we can't really control how many missiles they fire. We say, here's the threat, here's the missiles, here's what each missile can do, this range, blah, 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 blah. But we can't tell them what to fire and when. You just don't have that control. The thing with this engagement is that the uh, fast missile boats, the tech boats, are further away from the carrier. They've got more time to pick them up. Yeah. They probably would be able to shoot over the horizon with their five-inch guns. I'm not even sure they would be accurate enough, though, to be honest, on such a small, fast-moving target. That's probably why. So small, they're so fast-moving, they need to be closer. 41 down. 42 down. 43 down. No, it missed. No, he hit. 43 down. Do better. Here's the problem. It's the speed, guys. Look, it's the speed. You just haven't got time to riddle them with stuff. Miss. Don't miss. Hit. 
Oh god, damn it, missed again. Achtung, scheiße. 45 down. Buy more! Buy more, I'm gonna freaking jump in there and do it myself. What would happen if you gave the hermits arms instead of not arms? Harpoons instead of rockets. I can try. I can try. I haven't actually tried with harpoons. I didn't I just didn't even think about it, but yep. Yeah. Maybe. The target's too small. Yeah, would a harpoon even track a speedboat? I don't know. I'll lose it. 51 down. You lose a lot of that ordnance, I guess, when you go four instead of one to 16. No. Yeah. 57 down. Come on! Fight harder! But if you had a marine carrier. Uh, marine aviation contingents with you. I've lost the Apaches and the right. carriers with Mavericks. Yeah, do the job. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to try some different weapons, guys. Well, the ships would fire their harpoons too, but they had them. Um, yeah, the Ollie Bugs don't carry. Uh, I don't know. No, we haven't got Ollie. We don't have uh, harpoons on Flight Three, do we? Eighty-one down. We're doing a lot better. Still not good enough. Oh, come on. Oh, dear. Hundred and one! Hundred and one! Only forty to go! We might do it! It's all up to this guy. You! You! Do it! Let me on the frigging gun! Hundred and nine! Left! Look left! You knobhead! Use your five incher. She said. Um. Hundred and seventeen. Carrier's gonna start firing. Oh, look at that! They're chewing him to pieces. Go on, carrier. Go on, freaking carrier. Hundred twenty-four, twenty-five left. Man, you could not frigging get any closer. Ah, damn it! The breach of track. Taking out gunboats is so freaking hard. Most of the problem is because they're moving so fast, the weapons. Let's see how many reach the track line. And. Pause. <laughs> 12 at the end. We're alive at the track line. Just 12. And one's out of action. And one guy got lost. Huh. Simba! What are you doing? He just kind of... Oh, no. He went for a freaking... He's a suicide one. How about that? Well, guys. Uh, do you want me to tr try it one more time? With some different weapons on the on the Hornets, guys. Welcome back, fellow viewers. We've been... Uh, Testing out some different weapons to see which weapons will be most effective for the Hornet. We've actually basically come back to exactly what I found. We've tried Mavericks. The Mavericks can't hit something moving that fast. They hit about 50 feet behind. We've tried anti-ship missiles. Uh, missiles that are designed for shooting ships. But they can't track the bog hammers. The bog hammers, we assume, are too small and maybe too fast. Cluster bombs do work, but they crash the server. So they're just too processor intensive. We can't, we can't use them. So again, we're back to the rockets. Rockets are the best, most efficient thing we've got in game. That's it, but we have found something interesting. Watch this. We found out where those 300 missiles went, which will uh, probably surprise you. Off they go. Let's go and watch the glory. There is the glory. In fact, why don't we watch it from him? Oh, look at that, guys. <laughs> Fire everything. 300 missiles, or it will be 300 missiles. Watch how, if I try and get that view there. So, bog start dying. Bog hammer's dying. And the missile stop, start turning around. Can you see this one start to turn around? That's because it's a deconfliction problem. The first ones here get hit, and then these ones here, that their target's now dead, have no idea what to do. They just turn around and ditch themselves because they don't know what to do. So 80% of the missiles, look, these ones are turning all the way around. 80% of the missiles, due to deconfliction problems, just, you know, they can't target 150 ships. Could they target 150 ships in real life? I have no idea, right? I mean, who knows that? 
Probably. I don't know. What can they just do? But the problem here is they can't target enough ships at the same time. They can only target 20 or, or whatever it is. And once their 20s are dead, all of the ones that are in the air at that time can't reacquire. And I have no idea where they're going. Where are they going? They're going somewhere. Oh, they're going to Oman to bomb Oman. How about that? So we very much reached. Wow. So all we had to do is put some targets there. And they've turned around again and going back. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Look, they've turned around again. They've gone to Oman. Turn around again. And now they're going to hit their own carrier group. Very much reached the limit of the sim at this point. It cannot, Aegis, it, in swarm, cannot target any more than the first 40 or something like that. Basically, 280 missiles are just missing, or 250 missiles are missing. There is nothing we can do about that. Well, let's just one thing at a time. Can we get the damage models working? Check. Can we get the damage models working with the C701? Check. I should put a kudos out to Current Hill, who designed, who did all the units for us, by the way. Could the 1990s carrier group defend itself? No, it couldn't. It sent its bogs out with the uh, its uh, Hornets out with the best weapons that we can get working. It can't launch any ship missiles. They just won't launch on speedboats. Uh, the, the Mavericks won't track. The speedboats are moving too fast. Is that realistic? I don't know. Again, who knows that? So they had to use rockets. They just weren't effective enough. And we can't use cluster bombs because they killed the server. So it was up to the these guys here with their 5-inch guns, their Bushmasters and their Seawares. And they could not kill the boats quick enough. Why? The boats were just moving too fast. Or most bullets missed, including the 5-inch. Is that being realistic? Who actually knows that? Who's ever shot a 100-mile-an-hour speedboat before? And they got through to the carrier. A 2020 carrier group. In our simulation, with the best tech we've got, couldn't target enough. It could only target the first 40. All of the other 260 missiles just ditched themselves into the water. If they could track 150 targets, would they have killed them all? Yes, definitely. This is just in-game. I've no doubt about that. If these guys came in slowly, sequentially, um, would they be able to kill them in-game? Probably, yeah. But we want to make it as hard as possible. Which just leaves... Real life. Could real life Aegis track 150 targets? Has anyone got any input on that? That's the last question to answer. We can't answer it in our sim. Yeah, I think that in real life, they'd assess the time that the threat would take to get to the the uh, carry group, and they would reduce the rate of fire uh, to assess right. the, uh, before they re launch the next wave. So this would all have been warp games in real life then, and they would have worked, they would have worked out the kinks, wouldn't they? Send 20 missiles out, wait a minute. Send 20 missiles out, wait a minute. That's what you're saying, right? Yes. Can we do that in-game? No, not a chance in hell. No way of doing it in-game. But they see baddies, they fire. So we've hit our limit of what you can do. A very intelligent answer. Anyone else, anything to add? Welcome back, viewers. It's just me now. The guys have had to go. We've been at this for over five hours now, and it's getting a bit silly, so they've got to go. But I've just had a genius idea. Uh, Matrix was talking about phasing they would phase the anti-swarm missile so that's what i'm going to do now it's going to be a bit weird and a bit bodgy but what i'm going to do is every minute or so i'm going to pause that i'm going to spawn in another one of the destroyers until after six or seven minutes we've got all of the destroyers spawned in it's kind of a cheeky way of phasing the firing so one destroyer fires its missiles off next minute another one comes in fires its missiles off and that will be a way of phasing those missiles and we'll see if we get a different result that way Okay, so let's see what these missiles do. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Right, here come the first missiles. Smack. Beautiful. Now, theoretically, by the time the next uh, destroyer spawns in, those will be sunk and out of the game. I mean, the mind boggles about how complex this thing is in real life. Oh, the amount of processing power that's needed. Think how many ghost signals and especially dealing with surface targets almost unimaginable how difficult this would be to program and get it actually working in real life see with only one destroyer and we've already killed 20 right that's definitely the way of doing it then driver right now there's still some that are missing look look at that those have all missed so there's still going to be some deconfliction problems again i don't get enough control over the missiles to stop all of the deconfliction but that is the first set of whatever it was 54 i think missiles done for 28 kills so that's pretty much a 50 percent pk we can live with that because we've got uh 300 missiles to fire all right uh, just gonna speed up to the next carrot there here comes the next one fire sir speed up all right now we're cooking on gas there's a lot of dynamics at play here. 
Slightly worried those 701s are going to go for the carrier now. Just going to try and see what happens. Those 701s, please don't go for the carrier. No, I don't think they will. They'll probably go for the uh, destroyer screen. 43 down. So we've already killed, by doing it this way, we've already killed more gunboats than we had with all of the guys firing at once. About smarty DCS. I shot his own boat. The SSMs, those are the SSMs. Look how well they can prospect her. Oh, the next boat's up. The next boat's up. Look, 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 look. Pumping its missiles out. Ooh, and that's almost all of the 701s dead. Oh no, they're going to go for the carrier now. Oh no, the car, no, the Hulk is still in the way. Look, that is a, that is a friggin' stroke of luck. Oh no, the carrier's been hit. The carrier's been hit. But the carrier's not dead. Some 701s, 701s got through. Man, this is confusing. Blah, 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 blah. Reasons, stuff, things. Another cruiser is in, look. Right, uh, what to watch? <sighs> to be honest, most best information is going to be seen here. Some still turning around and deconflicting, but not the huge barrage of hundreds of them that we had before, right? Now, in real life, would there be, be a load of deconfliction problems? I bet there would. However well you program that, in real life, with all the problems and inaccuracies and imperfections that real life brings, I bet there'd be a whole bunch of deconfliction problems. Smack! Look how impressive that is. Hundred down. They're going to do it. That's how you do it. Phased anti-swarm missile sequencing. They're nearly dead. First uh, Hornets up. Thirty left. I think all of the uh, destroyers are probably in now. One and one's dead, isn't it? So one, two, three, four. No, there's one more destroyer to come in still. There it is. That's the last destroyer. And off it goes. Eighteen more to go. Sixteen more to go. Twelve more to go. They've done it. Brilliant. Oh, that's so satisfying, Valid Viewers, to get that done. So, I mean, you could argue, Valid Viewers, why don't I do all this work beforehand, before I show the video and pre-script it. I'm not into scripting videos. I want to show you the learning process we have to go through, because that's where you learn. Just showing a glossy product is not how you learn. Three left. Two left. One left. And that's it. That, value viewers, is how effective a well-organized 2020s surface-to-surface -surface Aegis system with 2020s missiles can be. Some of them still hit Oman, and again, I can only apologize, Oman. I found that absolutely teeth-clenchingly hard to make, but I'm super chuffed we did it, and I hope you enjoyed that, and bye-bye.